How to add a brush stroke to the edge of a shape in Affinity Photo. There's two ways. Here's how. Select a shape in Affinity Photo using the Move tool. Then go up here and you've got Stroke and you can click here and you can see you can add no stroke, you can add just a basic stroke, you can add dash strokes and you can also add a texture line style. Nothing happens! If you've got Affinity Designer, what you can do, go to File and down to Edit in Designer. So Edit in Designer and it will open exactly the same design in Designer. Now with this selected, you can go here to the Brushes panel and that's in View Menu, Studio and Brushes. And you've got all these brushes, oils, etc. With that selected, you can just simply apply a brush stroke. And you can see all kinds of different brushes can be added. You can resize them as well. They don't have to remain at 64. Just click here and just change the width. So you can decrease it or increase it. You can also modify the pressure. So you can click there and just change that. Just click and just drag and that will change as well. And that's a quick way of adding a brush stroke to the edge of a shape. Obviously a rectangle in this case, but it could be a star, heart design, or any shape that you create. What you can then do is go to File and Edit in Photo. So you're back in Photo, and now you can see exactly the same design. It's still got that brush stroke added. It's not the same as the brushes here. You can still modify a few things. You can go over here and click and change the width. You can also change the colour. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want that colour, I want it to be pink. So you can change that as well. That's technique one. There's another approach, a workaround. The second technique does not require a designer, but it does require a second shape, and that's a rectangle. So go to the Tools panel. So in the Tools panel, select Rectangle Tool. Create rectangle, make certain it's bigger than the actual star or any shape you create. It doesn't have to be just the star. So you've got this rectangle. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna fill it with nothing. So just click here in the color, you can just see there. And now you've got nothing there. Go to the star in the layers panel. Go to edit and cut, or we'll use the shortcuts of course. Cut, and now what you need to do with this rectangle selected, go to edit and paste inside. So paste inside. So now it's been pasted inside, you can see it slightly moved across, but you can select the rectangle again. So go back to the rectangle. Now go to the tools, go here, paintbrush tool. Control bar, 32, etc. all the settings, you can select any brush. I'm gonna go with an ink brush. You can change the color. So I'm gonna go with black. Any color can be used. As soon as you've done that, just go over here and paint and you can paint around that. Now, what's happened, you've got a pixel layer being added to this rectangle. So you can see the star there, but you can also now go around the edge. Obviously very roughly, but you can do create any kind of edge to your star design. And then you can finish off. You can change the color as well. You don't have to go with that. Maybe go with reds, etc. Again, select the rectangle. And with that, go to the Move tool, and now you can move it around. That edge is still with that star. You can reposition it, you can resize it, move it around, it's still got that edge. It's a brush stroke edge that you can manipulate even further later. So with that, I'm just gonna duplicate it. Hold the whole thing down, Alter Option key. Hold that, and you can drag and duplicate that design. So you might decide, you know what? With this one, I'm just going to select one of them, that star, I don't want to be blue anymore. You can change the colour. There it is, that one there, maybe make it red, so you can see it there. So you've got that. However, what you can also do is you can go to this layer, the pixel. So you've got this brush stroke and you think, you know what, I don't want that brush stroke anymore around that edge. Well, you can remove it. And the way to remove it is to use the arrays. Go to the Tools panel and select the Erase Brush Tool. There's the Erase Brush Tool. Make certain you select a nice clean brush. You don't want to select a brush that's got some variation in it. 
otherwise it will not look very good. So with that selected, you can then go to that tool, that design, and just apply the arrays. So you can just remove it. So you decide, you know what, I don't want that edge. So you can just brush it away, and you can do that. However, now you've got obviously a nice clear design there. You can always again go back to paintbrush tool. So with paintbrush tool selected, just go there, and this time, maybe change the color, go for, say, green. And you can apply new brush strokes. And just apply it around the edge, exactly as before. So you've got a new design for your edge. You can also add additional effects, as well as brush strokes, to a shape. In this case, I'm going to use a diamond. It could be, again, any shape. Use the rectangle tool, create a rectangle bigger than the diamond. Go up here, fill and set again to nothing. Select the diamond and go to edit and cut. Now with the rectangle selected and it needs to be selected, go to edit and paste inside. Make certain you select the rectangle, not the diamond. That's the key thing. And then go to the various brushes. Now I'm going to select ah, this one. Let's go for that one. And again, go to the paintbrush tool. There's the paintbrush tool and apply. Now I'm going to be applying with black, so you can see. Now this one's slightly more uh, an unusual brush stroke, but you can see again, you can apply it around the edge. And you of course can go and select a different brush. And maybe that one, and select there, go with there. So you can create multiple. Don't have to apply it exactly on the shape itself. Apply it all the way around. However, you can see again, you've got that pixel layer added there. And that's the key thing. It's a pixel, pixel layer. Pixel layers can have effects. So go to filters, go to blur and Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur, and now you can see what happens. It blurs the pixel layer, not the shape. The shape is untouched. So with that, let's just drag this up here. Always puts it down at the bottom. You can see now you've got that blur design there. Click apply. You can also apply other ones. Go to filters, distort and deform and go around the edge and just slightly distort it as well. Click apply on that. However, you can still continue to add brush strokes. So you decide I want a green brush stroke there and let's just add another edge to that shape. And again, it's all connected. So select the rectangle, go to the move tool and you can move it around, reposition it. You've still got the shape. You can still modify the shape. So you can go to the diamond, you can resize it. Don't have to keep it exactly the same. Just move that there. You can also select the pixel layer and resize that and move that around. Resize that and distort it, rotate it, transform it. Again, go to the rectangle and then move the whole thing around. And again, as before, you can hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate the design. So hold that down and you can see you can create multiple copies with the same edge which of course can all be edited independently. So you can set that one and you can modify that pixel layer there. So just change it, reposition, everything like that. You can also add 3D effects to the edges as well. Make sure you go down here to the pixel, select the pixel, go to the bottom of the layer panel and click effects. Click there and you've got 3D, as long as that's highlighted, click there and then change the radius. And now you can see you've got a 3D design with your brush stroke. Click close. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.